Good evening, I'm Alex Stierkman. The Indiana University Police Department's annual security report released today indicates the number of students being arrested for drugs is increasing. In 2011, there were 199 arrests on campus for drug violations at IU Bloomington. That number increased to, 2000, or to 210 in 2012 and 266 in 2013. Alcohol-related arrests and sex offenses, however, were both down. Arrests for alcohol violations dropped from 450 in 2012 to 340 in 2013. Sex offenses also dropped closer to 2011 levels after jumping in 2012. There were 11 sex offenses reported in 2011, 27 in 2012, and 15 in 2013. Burglaries and aggravated assaults on the IU Bloomington campus also dropped. Grain elevator operators in Indiana are facing problems accommodating this year's bumper corn crop. A Kokomo grain merchandiser says with the better than average yield, the industry is expecting there will be some challenges with holding capacities. That's in part because not all the grain from last year has made it to the market. The harsh winter shut down rail lines, causing backups. All of this will ultimately cut into the farmers' profits. Agricultural economists say corn farmers could see a 12 percent drop in their revenue from last year. And a new state campaign aims to inform college students that they can now text 911 in case of emergencies. A new federal law requires by the end of this year all cell phone carriers to have services in place to let customers send emergency texts to local dispatchers. The campaign will focus on Ball State, IU, and Purdue University. Texts to 911 will be routed to a local emergency dispatch center, but if that center is not available, the cell phone user will get a text response saying their message did not go through. And here's a look at the five-day forecast Wednesday will be mostly sunny, 78 degrees is the high, 58 degrees as the low, and a 90% chance of thunderstorms on Thursday.